Why do you have a rain brush there? It's crazy. Oh hey, welcome back to To The Moon. Uh, we're playing the second Minnesota of this game. And looks like it's, it's set in the same environment as the first one. Well, at least they're starting to leave. Guess we'll save the cleanup for after the break. We gotta get that external fruit collector set up. Yeah, that would be helpful. Perfectly cooled in the snow and kept fresh too. Uh huh. Get this. It's like we're inside and the fridge is outside. Mind blown. Sure, good job. I knew it. I wonder if the others are leaving early. Now that the road's cleared. Eh, might as well. I can't believe the cause pushed our Christmas party this late. Are you heading home early too? Yeah, why not? I'm spending the year with my sister's family. They don't live far from here. With their little brat, huh? Yeah, well, their little brat still got me a better gift than yours. Hey, at least I tried to get something for my partner. I like a certain somebody. Guess again. Oh, what's going on here? What is that? It's an ambient sound maker. It cycles through soothing background sounds like the beaches or a chorus of crickets. Check this out. Okay, that's pretty ASMR. It sounds like something I could do on my phone. Oh yeah, well this also allows for recording a custom track of your own to loop back. Just press rec and you can make your own custom ambient sound to work too. Again, phone. Yeah, it's, it's just an app. I guess neither of us are particularly good gifters. Hey, I'll still take it. I'll probably record Rob getting scolded to the custom track and fall asleep to it or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if this is the same day as the first Minnesota, you know, because they left for work after that. And this is clearly a little bit different. I, I wonder if it's just another Christmas party for another year. Anyway, how about you? You got plans? Wow. Oh ho ho. Oh, who's that? Oh ho ho! Come here, you stud! Oh, uh, what's going on? Oh shit. Is it in the wine or have you been getting handsomer by the day? My dear, I'm sober as a brick. You're still steaming like a hot bun. When I looked into your eyes just then, it's as if I'm hearing the gentle waves of the ocean. Oh, you naughty little vixen. If not for my back, I'd just pick you up and... Hey! Awkward. Hey. It's snowing outside. Yeah, it sure is. W w was the recorder just recording all that? Okay, I think that's enough for today. Yep. I'm heading out. You do you do that. Uh Okay. Oh hey, thanks for the sound machine and whatnot. Sheesh, don't be too grateful now. Tomorrow's gonna be one heck of a cleanup day, but at least I'll restock on ketchup. That's uh looking to the bright side. Uh wh what's over here? It's what makes our job possible. Yeah, the machine. So am I actually going to leave the office building this time? Is that really gonna happen? Mm, guess not.
Hello. Who is this? Hello? Okay, personal. Parent? Brother? Somebody... Somebody that he cares about but he's a little afraid of saying? Um, okay, I guess... If office is this floor, right? That, that was the office. No, this is the office. Hey, Eva. Hey, Eddie. How's... Oh, no, 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 no. Door. Oops, my bad. Oh, well, no biggie. How's your hair? Hey, can you press the elevator button for me? Why? I thought you just pressed it. Yeah, but it seems like it comes up instantly almost every time you press it. That's silly. It's just luck. Well, come on. Just give it a try. Suppose it can't hurt. What the... Thanks! <laughs> okay. That's, that's just a video game choice here. Oh, Roxy's over there. She looks upset. I should go comfort her, but I'm gonna go to my office first. Is my diary open again? Dear diary, today I... Shoot, not again. The door was open too. Better lock it away for good. Yeah, what's up with that? And what do we have here? Oh, I'm grabbing my thing and uh, I'm ready to go. But I want to talk to Roxy. Can I? Oh, I can also go to Nao's office, so why not? Bottles of homemade ketchup. Really? I thought he was kidding. <laughs> Me too. Is he actually out there collecting ketchup? Okay, Roxy, you're making me feel guilty. What are you doing? You alright, Roxy? Oh, hi, Eva. Yep, I'm just waiting on Rob. He's right it's under maintenance, so we're car carpooling. Hey, Rob, you ready? Just a minute. Anyway, what you up to? Um, not much, just heading home to have dinner with my sister's family. We always have a Christmas dinner together and they've been waiting. Wow, how nice of them. The turkey surely wouldn't have stuck around had it been me. I bet. You got any plans tonight? Well, I gotta meet up with some folks later, but first I got a date with a good old couch and ice cream. I'm gonna grab a whole bucket and a scoop it, and then I'm gonna spoon it. Sounds like a lovely time. Yeah, it does. Yep. Oh, I wonder if Eva's actually going to hang out with her sister's family. She's not just saying that and then go spend her evening alone. That. Jeez, Roxy, I said just a minute. Was it me? Yeah, it's me. Open up. I guess I'll be going. You ready now? Just a minute. Yeah, you're gonna wait a while. He's probably taking care of his hair. He's not Eddie, but obviously he has some style about that. Let me check this place, this this side first. See if there's any changes, any places I can go to. Oh, I think this is the bathroom. Anything? Nope. Meeting room is where we. Oh, the meeting room is definitely where Nail is. So let's go to the lobby. Eva, about earlier. Hey, don't worry about it. No, lass, you don't understand. You see, sometimes when a man loves a woman. Oh, shush, you. Well, go on then. Sometimes when a man loves a woman, what? What do they do? Do they do something strange? 
Maybe next time. What do you mean maybe next time? What is this place? Well, I guess I'll be heading out. Heading off? You're still here? Yep, and I'm staying here tonight. Well, wait, what? Everyone's heading home. What can I say? It's just the kind of hardworking uh, Samaritan that I am. Coming through! Where's... Oh, there he is. Nail? Bob. It's Robert. Rob. Anyway, have a good evening at your sister's place. You're really gonna just stay here on the only break we've gotten in months? Yep. All this mention to myself? Yes, please. Let's stay. Why not? Alright then. Hey, if you want... Hmm? Um, never mind. Aw, oh, come on. You know you want to stay, girl? Tracy, is that her sister? Eva? Hey sis, I'm heading over now. Okay, so... She really does have a sister's family to go to. I was only wondering because things seemed like really sad cuz for someone who's going to a party uh what's going on whose memory are you jumping into He's staying there all by himself? But isn't this like Christmas for you guys? Yeah, well, I don't know what he's up to. Huh, you should invite him to dinner. What? Don't be absurd. You're thinking too much into it, silly. I don't mean for anything else, just for co-worker's sake, you know? I know the guy is not one to come over. Anyways, get a dish started, will ya? I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hon. I'll see you then. Oh, she can't. She. Oh. Eva? What was that? D did we kill another squirrel? You okay, hon? Are you there, Eva? Oh, shit. What is happening? Eva, can you hear me? Yeah, I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hon, I'll see you then. Um, what? Are we being inceptioned? Is this actually a dream? Come on, 30th time's the charm. What are you looking for? And the moment of truth. Circuit, abnormal circuit abnormality detected, main power disconnected. What the? Fucking shit, bitch ass. All those cursing words that you're thinking. How does that even... I better get down to the basement and then reset the switch before someone else... Before someone sees. 
At least the elevator is an auxiliary power. I could reach the basement from the lobby. Uh, what are you doing? Should we put them away? That's smart. And lock in the office, of course. Oh, we're gonna run into Eva. Go to, um... Just to go to the lobby. Nope, she's not here yet. That looks like an evil elevator. Okay, let's disable the tractor beam. For attack facility, the power supply sure is unreliable. Yeah, how, how do you even work if your office building can't run one machine? Access profile loaded, Dr. Neil Watts. Access time, it's locked. All right, let's get you booted up first. Oh, it's logged, so don't know if that's good. Power status charging for reignition. And now let's see what happened to you. It's almost as if someone did a manual shutoff. Fetching operation record. I don't understand, this can't be right. There must be a glitch in the system. Did Eva shut it off? The evil one? Who's there? Did the zombie Eva shut it off? Okay. <laughs> um. This just became a new function. Anybody out there? I, I got a broom. I ain't afraid to use it. Oh shit, footsteps. Who? But the door was locked. There you are. Oh crap. Power restored. This is gonna get awkward. How's the towel, hon? Okay. <laughs> that helps, thanks. What's wrong with you? Ain't nobody gonna whack my sister like that. Sheesh, it was an accident, alright? Your face was an accident. Do you just go around the office swinging a broom around all day? Look, I was in beast mode and she just suddenly appeared on my turf. It's not my fault that I was born with such crazily fast reflexes. Why did you guys come over anyway? You're the one to ask. Staying all alone in the office on your holiday off, who does that? It was her idea. Darn right it is. I ain't having no part of my sisters soak by himself on a night like this. I wasn't a soak. You just, you just shut up and listen. Eva called in some old friends that we're all gonna have a nice dinner together. And you're gonna enjoy every moment of it. Whoa, you kind of remind me of someone I know. Okay, uh, this is awkward. Sorry. Hey, sorry about your face. Don't talk to me. It was the soft end of a broom. Sheesh. Come to think of it, I should have been charging you for a facial massage. Go away. Hey, don't talk to me. She's pissed. Okay, I don't blame her. It's with a good cause. There, there, hon. It's actually not that bad. What was that? Why is he still here? Shoo, shoo. What am I, a rodent? 
We're gonna get the dinner out and ready soon. You just go stay put and warm up your jaws. Oh, because I'm gonna get punched. Okay. Can I open the box, Dad? Can I? Go ask Aunt Eva. It's not ours. Or can I open it, though? Dude, what's in the box? Uh, we actually don't know. What? Yeah, come to think of it, those exact same boxes were here last year, too. Well, can we open them? No, I don't know whose they are. So they just sit here? Yep, that's what they do. I don't get it. Me neither. Let me guess, maybe some of them are from Lily. We gotta have some connection. Man, Neil, we've only just got here and you've already got Tracy all worked up. Workplace hazard, can't help it. Yeah, it's a dangerous place. Don't even want to imagine what you do with a mop. Our insurance policy forbids me from hand handling one. I can understand that. Have you guys not had a break since the end of the year? It wasn't 100% work time, but we were always on call. Can't really help when people go poof. Man, I can't imagine doing that kind of work. Don't you guys get stressed out by the very nature of it? You tend to get used to it, some more so than others. So are they like decorations? I don't know, man, I don't know. Right, this is getting awfully awkward. She's still angry. And I don't know what to do here. Should I go sit somewhere? Maybe we should open these presents, why not? It keeps triggering this dialogue, but I don't know. Oh, I can't get out. Roxy? Oh, hiya. I thought you went home. Yeah, I thought so too. But as I was happily pigging out on the couch, Eva called and asked for a pickup. What? But she's already here. Hello. What the? Whoa. Hi, Uncle Neil. Th the last time you two came by, you called me Poo Poo Face. That was Tommy. He's mean. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa, that kid's growing up to be a lizard. Uh, sorry, Lily. It's been a while, Neil. Yep, Eva just dragged you guys right out of your loving home, huh? Oh, it's nice to come and visit. The kids were getting bored at home anyway. Wow, wow, wow. Let's go talk inside. We could be missing dinner by now. Oh, yes, I should go say hi. I didn't really, I didn't expect them to show up. And hey, Neil, is this the family gathering you've always wanted? I didn't make him go into the elevator, by the way. Okay, I'm Eva now. Let me go talk to everyone. Hey, Lily. Thanks for having us over, Eva. Hey, I just hope I wasn't interrupting anything. Not at all. It's nice to talk. It's nice. It's nice to take those two rascals out. Johnny's home has a beautiful view, but it's a bit remote for the kids to camp out at. Oh, by the way, you guys are totally leaving Anya alone, aren't you? They do get to play outside nicely, but I keep fearing they trip and they roll down the cliff. Yeah, that'd be suboptimal. <laughs> That's pretty dark. 
You two should come and visit more. The kids will like that too. Oh, I would like that too. What is that? A beaver? It it's plat plat. It's not mine, but Ma said I'm its caretaker now. I protect it from all evil. Can I see it? Are you evil? Not really. Hmm. Okay. You can have plat plat for five minutes. Yeah, Plat Plat likes you. How can you tell? Because it's not trying to get away, duh. Yeah, I, I, I got no argument against that. Is that the same dialogue for him? Oh, this little piece of toy has been played for how long now? Since River was a little... Uh, I mean, since Johnny wanted in the... Since he was just a like five year old, and he died an old man, and our new generation is playing it. Imagine if this is Toy Story. I mean, if toys are all alive, and this platypus has been passed down from one kid to another, he would be kind of a senior member in the toy community by now. Hey, are you a real doctor? What do you mean? Like. Do you do surgeries and stuff? No. Then you're not a real doctor. Uh, do you listen to Dr. Dre? No. Me neither. But Neo says Dre is not a real doctor and he's still got mad respect, so back off. Oh yeah, you're gonna get your ass kicked. When I grow up, I wanna be like Dr. Dre. Uh, you didn't get that from me. I heard Dre is 9 feet tall and breathes fire out of his nostrils. You literally just heard of him. <laughs> yeah. Well, I... Come to think of it, I don't actually know that Dr. Dre doesn't breathe fire out of his nostrils. That might be his next album. Not that he, do, he, does a lot of, he doesn't have a lot of personal albums, does he? Hey Jamie, what are you doing with a stuffed animal? Don't wuss out on me, son. Chillax, Dad. It's just plat flat. You don't know what that is, do you? You guys got any policy about bringing gats, Eva? Technically, yeah, but as long as it's just hanging out at the lobby or lodge, no one cares. Funny, I work corporate and we've got cam cams everywhere. This seemed way more high profile. Well, yeah, but it's not like we keep people's memories sitting around on discs. Jamie's growing up pretty darn, pretty darn fast. Sometimes I feel like I can't catch up. Nothing wrong with little boys playing stuffed animals, anyway. Well, I didn't. I, I, I for one, I didn't really enjoy them when I was a child. Um, I think I actually like stuffed animals more today than I was a kid. I still don't have any at home though. Feeling any better? I'll live. You know, Eva Han, you gotta come over more. I rarely see you anymore. Well, winter tends to be our busy season. Hopefully we'll get more of a break soon. Don't work too hard now. You know, I'm always here if you need me. Hey, how's Jamie been doing in school? That rascal is doing fine, since he wants to do what you do when he grows up actually. But I ain't having none of that. One mortician is enough in this family. Actually, I'd say what we do is more about life than death. You ought to come over more when the season comes down, Eva. I'm, I'm just guessing that people don't really understand their profession all that well. People don't want anything that has anything to do with death. That's the real thing. Hey, thanks for helping to drive Lily and the kids over. No biggie. As long as you all hold up your side of the deal. Ah, uh, yeah, I got it. I'm serious. Two buckets of ice cream. No cheap outs. Yeah, Roxy, I will. Like, we're talking jumbo size here with a capital J. And when I say buckets, I mean buckets. I think I want to use them as recycling bins when I'm done with them. 
Yeah, I hope. Where do you shop? I guess ice cream will <laughs> get her to do anything. I mean, it's that it's like that with me, but with, with video games. Like when I lend my friends money and stuff, I act sometimes I ask them to pay back in video games. Hey, has anyone seen Neil? We ran into him in the hall, but he didn't follow us back in. Seems like he went back down for some reason. Oh, I'm. St we are still going to look for him. We're gonna get another mop in the face. It does always open whenever I touch it. Hmm. Hell. What's over here? Been dying to know. Hey ho! Could he be down there again? Nope, he's not here. Can I do anything about this? Access profile loaded. Dr. Eva Rosaline. Power settings. Um, no point in messing with the power. How about operational record? Fetching operation record. Uh, emergency manual shut down by Dr. Neil Watts. M less than 10 minutes later, manual restart by Dr. Neil Watts. Huh. So the record shows that he shut it down himself, but he absolutely didn't. Weird. Why did he shut down and then restart it himself? That's, wha that's what it w he was perplexed about. Can I go outside? Hello. Who's calling? Who is this? Son? Or oh, is his father? Or mother? Is that you, Neil? Why aren't you talking to them? Was it something they did? No, it's not them. No, I pull a broom to their face too. Then why... Why did you come back? I told you already, it was my sister's idea. You could have stopped her. What? Look, thanks for coming back and bring the folks and all. But just... Don't do something like that again. Do what? Where are you going? Home. I've got things to work on. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't know what's going on there, but for pineapple's sake, loosen up. Those people came all the way out here to spend the evening with you. When was the last time you even had dinner with other people? My sister brought her family to keep your company. Even Lily and the kids came. You still remember them, right? You even made a stupid game based on the case. What are you gonna do when we go home? Go eat a frozen pizza by yourself? Just give yourself a break for tonight, sheesh. Just uh, uh, on another note, I have no judgment for anybody who has pro frozen pizza in their fridge. Anyway, I'm not gonna just stand out here in the cold tossing words at you. You do what you want, I'm heading inside. Just know there's a chair upstairs for you, whether you're coming or not. Go on, turn around. This would be really great to play around Christmas or Thanksgiving. Oh, it's over. And he came back. Oh, it's a story for reconnection.
I'm really glad we play these mini souls and the platy plat the plat plat has an extra seat and it's in in one of the more important seats. Of course it is. Oh, he's playing with the kids. He he stole the plat plat. Get him. This is making me w want a stuffed animal. Wait, how, why are we having two plat plat? No, the memory is already breaking down. What is what was with the other evil hallucination thing? That was kind of strange. It's not, still not explained, and it's been recording. But recording for whom? I mean. I guess that's Neil's thing now, so he's recording this perfect night. Uh, Jordan, a friend who has created many of Freebird's pixel art, from To the Moon, Lighthouse, Anya, to... is currently hospitalized and undergoing chemotherapy. Oh shit, that's pretty terrible. If you enjoyed his work, please consider sending a donation to his family to help. His mom's PayPal address is here. You can also send him supportive words to Jordan at FreebirdGames.com. Thank you. Okay, I I actually might really send a donation there if that's still active. But this has been a few years, so I really don't know how he's doing. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this. Uh, this has been really heartfelt, really well done. A little mini that that uh, delve a little bit deeper into the character, into these characters. Because to the moon, the main game, which is freaking amazing, is really more about the case, more about Johnny and the River's relationship, and we only get a little bit of hint of what these two characters or the two main characters are like uh, through some through their reactions to. To the, through their reactions and the way they handle the case. And now we get a little bit more the story that's directly about, about them. I think that's really wonderful. Uh, so for the next step, I think I'm going to go ahead and play the next uh, Freebird game. After this one, after, after To the Moon, I think it's called A Bird Story. Which supposedly takes place in the same universe. But it doesn't have any, um, you know real connection to to the moon but there's gonna be a third game after a bird story called the uh, finding paradise and i think that game connects the two games before it so yeah, i'm really looking forward to playing this and uh thank you once again for watching if you really liked it uh please uh, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment uh i have my my comment section is pretty much empty all the time so let me know that you watched it. Let me know that you like it or don't like it. Anything helps. Uh, feedback is really appreciated. And um, yeah, take care of yourselves. Bye. Okay, we have a little bit more. Well. Well, what? That wasn't so bad. Everybody had a good time. Yeah, I guess so. Hey. Can you guys give me a lift? Oh, whoa. Whoa, what is going on? She's, uh, she's reading somebody's memory. Is she reading her own memory? Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Nail says he needs the company car tonight. Sure, um, sure, hon. Let's get you home. What is going on? Oh wow, we have a bit of a mystery here. And it's not a mystery that I can just go online and look up because I don't want to get spoiled for the next game in case it, it gets solved or something. I think just in the brief flash I saw her in a dark room with the helmet on. It's like she's. It's like she's. Uh, uh, leaping through somebody's memory. 
could that be her own? Because I don't see anybody else there. And mm, what could that mean? That could mean a lot of things. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just make my worst guess, well, worst case scenario guess. I think maybe Neil died sometime in the future, and she's just reminiscing these good times with him. Things like. I mean, I don't know if she really regrets all the time they were together, but didn't get closer. Wouldn't she like make different choices to just for them to be actually closer? And there's probably no way Neil can refuse that, since he would be a construction of her memory, and he would do things the way she imagined he would do. I don't know. I mean, could that be the whole thing about these Minnesos that they're just uh, Eva's imagination? But that also doesn't. The thing is, I we, I just don't know too much about the technology they're they're using. I think I, I think it's possible that maybe Neil was is dead or dying. And he's look. She's looking through Nail's memories. I mean, uh, at the end of the uh, To the Moon main game, there's this little hint that Nail is ill. He's taking painkillers or some other medicine. I think it's painkillers. So yeah, the it's a little foreboding, but I think we're gonna maybe we're gonna find out in the later games. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll solve this mystery together.